Now? Now? Brown? I oh, hey, didn't see you there. What's up, nerds? Yes, I know. Okay, I know. Guys, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be calling you names. I was just informed by my mother that I was raised better. Yeah, even though you fed us frozen pizza four days out of the week. Anyways, guys, the point of this video is to show you like an extreme, extreme, what I consider an extreme value when it comes to a beard kit. And I want to take a second to thank you for tuning into this video. It means a lot to me, okay? Without you, I'd be just a guy with a beard and an Apple Watch. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what I have in my hand right here is possibly the ultimate beard kit that I've found that was sent to me by Badass Beard Care. If you don't know what Badass Beard Care is, they're a company based out of California. It's a veteran-owned, veteran-run company. Solid group of guys that make solid beard products. Go show them some love somehow. Follow, find their Instagram, follow their Instagram. I'll put their Instagram down here. Follow them on Facebook. Leave them a good review on Facebook. They're great people, guys. But let's talk about this bag. This right here could be considered almost a bug out bag for beards, right? You keep this bad boy in a convenient location and when you gotta go, I mean, when you really gotta go, you snatch it and run. And for those of you freaking virgins who don't know what a bug out bag is, let me kind of enact like a situation where it would call for a bug out bag, right? Okay, here you go. Da -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da -de oh, who could this be? Hello, who's this? Oh, hey Denzel Washington slash Tom Cruise on a three-way call. How are you guys doing? Wait, what? The, the, Rus the Russians are, they're coming, they're coming now. Okay, I gotta go. I'll meet you guys at the rendezvous point. Mom, let's go! Leave the tuna casserole, let's go! Shit! Get your ass in gear, we're in grave danger! And, scene. Now that's just kind of your standard, basic, typical bug out situation, right? Not everybody's gonna have a cool level head like I do. Some people would panic in that situation. If you notice in my body language, I remain very calm and level headed. And like, I was like putting people at ease around me so that everybody kind of moves smoothly. And of course, most importantly, I grabbed my bug out bag, right? Also, before we go any further, hit that thumbs up button. Do it right now. And I will call the FBI on each and every one of you right now. I'll call them. Go ahead and don't push the button, see what happens. Click the button. Yeah, that's what I thought. But, but seriously guys, okay, so this thing, it could also be just one of those things you keep around and you throw in your suitcase when you go on a vacation. Let me show you what's in this thing and why it's a crazy value. This thing costs $85. Now when you hear $85, you're like, holy shit, right? But number one, the bag itself is made out of this really thick fabric and it's got this nice leather inlay right here. So you know, it's, you got that badass beard care repping right there. Now I'm gonna show you the things in my bag, right? So number one comes with the brush. This is the Badass Beard Care brush. It's got that super cool logo on there. And then you have, it's just kind of a standard brush. It's your boar hair bristle brush, but it does have a handle, which I do find usually more convenient than one that's just one solid piece. And you also and you also get options with all this stuff. Like you go through the options of which scent you want, which brush you want, which comb you want, all that stuff. Then it comes with this comb. It's like wood and ox horn, I believe. Great looking comb, great performing comb. And if you're picking a comb, I would pick this comb over the other ones because the, the other ones are kind of more wide tined, right? This one is a lot more functional for like a your standard beard, right? Then you get a beard oil. You get to choose your scent. I chose Outlaw. Outlaw is my favorite. It's like a tobacco vanilla with black pepper in it. Really awesome twist on the whole tobacco vanilla scent, the pepper just adds a little kick to it and it really works really well. There's the wash right here. If you notice, it's still sealed. I don't use a lot of beard wash, only once in a while and I haven't run out of the stuff that I have in my shower right now. One thing with a lot of washes with beards is you gotta be careful of the ingredients. Everything in here, I've checked, zero red flags, guys. It's mostly all natural. There's a few things like some preservatives or whatever that are just fine. But you could also go on the website, check the ingredients out and look them up for yourself. Um, but very, very good stuff as far as beard wash is concerned. And then you get a balm, right? Big two ounce tin of balm. Me, I prefer the butters more, um, but Badass Beard Care's balm isn't like super holy or anything. I mean, it has hold to it, but it's not on the heavy side of balms. Also, that's just my personal opinion. I prefer butters more, but balms are just fine. A lot of people have asked me like, dude, you used to promote beard balms all the time. Now you promote beard butters. Well, guess what? Thanks to Dan C. Bearded or whoever he thinks he is, now I'm addicted to beard butters. Thanks a lot, Dan. <sighs> but beard balms still definitely have their place in the world of beard care, guys. They're just fine. Some people like to have that hold. And then you have a tin of beard wax, right? And this is the Outlaw as well, great scent. But unknown perk is when they come in this big can like this, the two ounce can, if you don't know anything about wax, wax is hard. 
hard to get out of a container, right? When you have when you have a small little one ounce container, it's hard to get a good grip on it and get stuff out. When it's in a bigger container like this, you can grip it and start ripping. It's way easier to get wax out of a bigger container than a smaller container. It's just a little side perk I've really never heard anybody mention, but in my experience using wax, I don't use, I don't use a lot of wax, but once in a while I will, and it's much easier out of a two ounce tin, guys. And then this was in my beard kit. I'm not sure if this comes in all the beard kits, but this thing is like this crazy like skull thing. It's not, I don't think it's super functional as a beard comb, but it's got this bottle opener up top. So for all you raging alcoholics, <laughs> there you go. And then cream of the crop, right? These normally cost $50. These are their gold line scissors, right? Um, they're made out of this like special hardened steel. These things are like scissors you have for life. They're really cool. They're like this black and gold um, color scheme. They have the little pinky thing right there which makes cutting way easier, I guess. You have more control over it. And then they have that rubber damper in the middle so you're not clanking metal on metal every time you close them. The little, the little ring finger extender thing is like you can screw it off and put different ones on and make people make all kinds of like decorative ones you can buy online that you can put on that are really cool. Um, and then you have your adjustment right here. You can make them tighter or looser with this thing right here. So if you want a, a more fluid uh, motion or if you want a more freer motion, you can exchange that or turn that around. If you didn't watch the video me and my barber drama did on these, um, he, he's a professional barber and he has like pairs of like thousand dollar shears and stuff like that. He calls these shears, not scissors. Um, but he thought these would be like at least $200 these are only 50 bucks, but still $50, right? And they're throwing this in with that, which is crazy to me. Well, at least I assume they are. They've put it in mine. So for $84, $85, right? You're getting a $50 pair of scissors, beard wax, beard balm. That right there is $84, right? Then you get a brush, then you get a comb, then you get wash, then you get this cool thing, maybe, possibly. I don't know, I think it might be included in all of them. And you get to like customize your bag and then you can add more to it as well. And there's little options on the bottom where if you add more, you get discounts on the stuff. So the more you add, the cheaper it becomes. Not cheaper, not cheaper, not less expensive than 85, but you get discounts the more you add, basically. And then let's look inside this bag, check this out. So every everything inside is very cushioned and padded and stuff like that. So if it does go in a piece of luggage and get thrown around by, by the, uh, the airline at airport attendants or whatever, it's not gonna smash anything. So like right here, your, your beard, beard oil goes in there, right? Just like that. And then up here, up top, your scissors go in just like that and that little convenient thing right there. And then these three pouches down here you put your balms, your butters. There's an extra one in there if they if you order something extra or if you want to put a different one in there, right? Then there's a separate compartment there, right? Right? I would put the comb in there personally, and then what I would do after that is put the shampoo, or the wash in the bottom like that, followed by the brush, and then the really cool comb can really go anywhere in there, right? Another really cool slot is up here. You could put like a toothbrush in there and that little pouch or chapstick or whatever your heart desires really. And everything fits in here nicely, zips up. And then on the outside you have one, two, three, four, five, six little holders right here. You can put whatever in, whatever's gonna fit in there. I don't know exactly what you would use that for, but I'm sure you could figure something out. Now let's say the airline attendant is feeling super cranky. His boss just caught him smoking some reefer out behind the frickin' terminal, right? And he's throwing your luggage around. Let's do a little drop test. Right? That's pretty hard drop, right? Our main thing you wanna be concerned about is the beard oil, right? Still intact. It's because it's cushioned inside there, right? Everything else is fine. The beard, the shampoo hasn't broken. The brush is fine, obviously. So it keeps everything nice, neat, and safe in there, which is really cool, guys. Now there's a lot of beard kits out there you can get from companies on Amazon that I've done videos on before, and those are cool, right? But none of them are like designed for travel. They come in like boxes and stuff like that. This is a very convenient little bag you throw in your suitcase. You could throw one of those like boxes in your suitcase, but I would kind of be concerned about stuff breaking. Those are more like beard care kits. You take everything out of the box, put them on your bathroom sink, and use the stuff. So if you're traveling a lot, or, or if the Russians are coming, this is your bet, guys. And I'll put a link down below for this. You can check it out. I personally think it's an incredible value. Yes, it is a little expensive at $85, right? But what you're getting for $85 is a steal. And that's all I got to say about that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment if you don't want me to respond to it because I'm really bad at responding to comments. Subscribe if this is your first time to the channel and you like me, you like this content. I got a bunch of great beard content I filmed in the past. I also have pit stains and I got a lot of great content coming in the future. So yeah, there's that. And again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.
Stay bearded. Bye.